It stands as a new welcoming beacon to Martha's Vineyard, perched on a prominent hillside overlooking Vineyard Haven Harbor and Lagoon Pond. Dramatically transformed and reborn from a former rundown marine hospital, the new Martha's Vineyard Museum now stands grandly. A manor house on a mission, a brilliant reflection on the magical island of Martha's Vineyard. Hi, I'm Guinevere Kramer with Point B Realty. And before we even step into the Martha's Vineyard Museum, we've got to start out here with the view. The view across Vineyard Haven Harbor is amazing. No wonder before the old hospital, the Holmes Hole Lighthouse sat right up here on the hill in the mid 1800s. It's a location steeped in its own history. In addition to renovating everything that could be saved and salvaged in the original 1895 hospital, literally from the floors to the windows to the staircases, the museum also expanded and added the new glass Lindman Pavilion and Doherty Hall. I'll show you both of those in just a moment. Most people will begin their museum experience here. One Island Many Stories is a permanent exhibit that literally walks you through the museum in a thematic way with displays, interactive kiosks, and audio. The seven themes are fishing, farming, voyaging, creating, escaping, belonging, and changing. From the Wampanoag people to seafaring, even to the colorful Nancy Luce, the so-called chicken lady, who is obsessed with chickens. There's so much to see and learn. I especially love this flip book, A Day at the Beach, swimsuit fashion through the years. One of my favorite pieces is the heat pen. Living on the vineyard, this fowl friend often comes up in conversation since it went extinct on the island in 1932. This is the closest we'll get to seeing what they were really like. In a museum full of historical gems, there's no doubt there is one crown jewel. It's the original Fresnel lens that used to light the Gay Head Lighthouse. This stunning first order lens was in service from 1856 until 1952. 1,008 prisms, fully restored, it's an incredible sight and anchors the middle of the two-story Lindman Pavilion. Aptly named Flashes of Brilliance, the exhibit includes surrounding stories and displays of island lighthouses and some of the infamous shipwrecks in the tricky waters around the vineyard. Maybe the best seat in the house is here at the Museum Cafe, where you have a front row view of the Fresnel lens and the view out the glass doors of the pavilion is incredible. And in summer months, there's outdoor seating. Oh, did I mention that they have a great kid space? On the lower level of the glass pavilion, there is the hands-on history area, and they do encourage hands-on. From climbing into a boat, exploring a fishing shack, a sea captain's cabin complete with whale sounds, this area is a lot of fun and your kids' imaginations will be inspired. There are many other discoveries as well throughout the three floors of the main museum. Our own beat traces 200 years of musical history on the island from sea shanties to Carly Simon, James Taylor, and many other great musicians. There's a definitive Martha's Vineyard reference library and archive. Lost and Found is an artist's eye view of the museum transformation, and there's even a great gift shop. I've saved Doherty Hall for last. It's a separate building, and this is where I get lost, in a good way. Inside this large open space, there are incredible artifacts from the history of the island. It's a treasure trove of discovery, filled with artifacts that will appeal to different people. There is the restored Mayhew Peddler's Cart that was used for deliveries at the original Alley's General Store, the original hearse from the town of Edgartown, the headlamp for the island's locomotive, there are some whaling boats on display, and this incredible lifeboat from the original Islander. So I hope you get a feeling for just how cool the Martha's Vineyard Museum is. It's an interactive, all-encompassing museum made for the modern era. It inspires discovery, exploration, and connection with the island and its diverse heritage. It's the kind of place you'll be drawn to more than once. There's nothing else like it on Martha's Vineyard, and that's why it belongs on everyone's vineyard bucket list. For Point B Realty, I'm Guinevere Kramer.